Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Cauchy's residue theorem. Its statement only we will discuss. Huh? It's a very important theorem. Actually, the name of our playlist is residue theorem. That means this Cauchy's residue theorem. It has several applications. Using Cauchy's residue theorem, you can solve some uh, real integrals also. So many applications it has. So it is very important concept. Okay. So let us discuss the statement of it and how we can use it. Let us see. I will write the statement first. If f of z is analytic inside and on closed curve C except at finite number of isolated singular points z1 z2 and so on zn inside c then the theorem says integration over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues at z1 z2 and so on zn okay so this is statement of cauchy's residue theorem so let us try to understand the meaning of it with the help of diagram okay so suppose we have a closed curve c such type of closed curve we have c closed curve c right and we have one function f which is defined on this closed curve c and function is analytic. It is analytic everywhere. It is analytic everywhere inside and on. Okay, it is analytic everywhere inside this closed curve C and on this closed curve C except at, except at. That means it is not analytic some points at some point, just like Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, Z5, like that. Okay, function is analytic everywhere except at this five points for example except at these five points those number of points should be finite there should not be such infinite points two three four five ten whatever but it number of uh, those singularities must be finite and those singularities must be isolated singularities that means separate separate singularities then okay if all these things are true then value of integration can be obtained using this formula 2 pi i into sum of residues. So what we do, if you have any function f having five singular points inside c, then what we do, we find residue of f at each of its point. Okay, we find a residue, we take their sum, we add all these residues and then we multiply it by 2 pi i. By doing this, you will get the value of this integration. So it's a magic, no? without solving a integration without using a formula of integration just using by the concept of residue we are getting the value of integration so it is possible only because of this cauchy's residue theorem okay so this is actual meaning of this cauchy's residue theorem in next videos many videos will be there in which we will solve a lot of examples on this cauchy's residue theorem as well as at the end of this playlist we will discuss some applications of Cauchy's residue theorem okay just note down this and then we will stop and we will meet in next video thank you